called uh, A Taste of Lake George. A Taste of Lake George, okay. 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 All set? Yep. Hi, I'm Andrea Palmer, and I am here with TJ Green at A Taste of Lake George. Um, TJ, I have a few questions for you regarding your involvement with the Elf Tribute Artist community. Uh, how long have you involved, been involved with the ETA community? Oh, yeah, uh, been, well, almost, well, actively for three years, but with the community, um, been involved uh, for probably about, let's see, it's uh, 2015 now, I was involved late, uh, late 07, so about almost eight years. Wow, okay, and what got you involved? Um, well, actually, it's a, a awesome story involving this young gentleman here. All right. Um, I was uh, offered to uh, do sound work for a mutual friend of ours by the name of uh, Joe Ramsey, and uh, just started uh, going around and uh, doing sound tech work for his many shows, and through that, I uh, got to uh, witness uh, this young man uh, doing Elvis tribute when he was like teenier than my kneecap. Wow. And like really just busting it out, I mean, uh, it's, oh, that's, that's actually... It, it kind of gave me, you know, uh, what Joe did and, you know, what Matthew did kind of really inspired me to start thinking about it. And then about, uh, was, uh, about four years ago, I made the decision to become a tribute, but I didn't start performing because I didn't have everything set up yet. And as Matthew, you know, can tell you, um, actually, you know, like how hard it is, you know, and, and how much work it takes to, you know, get the outfit and everything else. Yeah. I mean, you know, how hard has it really been for you to, like, or just, like, getting the outfits, you know? And it's a lot of time, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of hard work, and a lot of time spent just mastering your craft. And if you, you need to put a lot of time into it, you have to rehearse your songs, you got to learn your songs, you got to learn the meaning behind the song. Yeah, it's, it's true. I mean, uh, my method is I go, uh, I walk back and forth, you know, to work in a lot, you know, and I have a, you know, PlayStation right now, a portable, that has my backing tracks and the master tracks that Elvis, you know, sang, and I would uh, listen to them back, you know, uh, repeatedly, you know, first of uh, the master, then the backing, just to get the vocal cues and everything. And um, I'm pretty sure it's the same. That's, that's what. That's what. Nearly I the same for you. Yeah. We just okay. learned by ear. So, where do you see yourself in a few years? What are your long-term goals? Oh wow! Matthew, you want to answer that one first? <laughs> uh, well, right now I'm a sophomore in high school, so hopefully by college uh, I want to be uh, majoring in some form of music or music education and uh, musical theater. I'm mainly an actor and doing this right now, so those are the two paths I kind of want to follow, plus education. Because uh, I love working with kids, that's where I came from today. I'm uh, assistant director at a local theater, and uh, I just love working with them as much as I can. So okay. whenever I can, I'd love to do that, so uh, music education would be great. Very nice. How about you? Um, I see myself, you know, being starting to really be able to do a lot more with the, the competition circuit. Um, mainly, you know, just you know, consistently do shows. Um, my one really awesome thing, really, in a few years, is to con you know still be doing you know shows like what we're doing today um, with Matthew. I mean, we did the one back in January, and it's just been a great experience. And you know, it's uh, for me, I, I see at least being able to do a full run of each, you know, uh, ElvisFest.com uh, event and, you know, some of the outlying because just the experiences in, like, you know, here in Lake George locally and in, you know, the, the different areas is just, you know, immeasurable, really. Very nice. What would you say is your favorite song to sing as an Elvis tribute artist? Oh, that's an easy one. Uh, my Way. Oh, it's okay. It's my all-time favorite. Um, Very nice. That's the first song I actually learned uh, practice for a uh, competition uh, known as uh, Reflections of the King. Okay, uh, I'm familiar. Uh, yep, uh, the Westfield, uh, Westfield uh, competition over around Buffalo. Um, I started learning that one. I had my first jumpsuit, uh, you know, thanks to the generosity you know, of friends. Um, and uh, really, uh, I got addicted to it by watching my wife's copy of the Aloha from Hawaii DVD. And I just saw the passion he put into it and, you know, remember the original that Frank Sinatra did, um, you know, because my mom exposed me to the different musics. And it's just been an awesome one. I sing it every show. I'm actually going to sing it tonight. Very nice. How about you, Matthew? Uh, I love Unchained Melody. Oh, that's a favorite of mine as well. It was last song, one of the last songs he performed on stage. 
last song he sang before he died, one of the two. And uh, I just feel it's one of the overall best uh, tributes to him and his music. And it just shows the full range that now he did, had. Was that when he wore the, the sundial? Or was yeah, that? he wore the sundial last concert. And he actually he actually played it out on the piano as well last concert. Um, I usually do that in my shows. Uh, tonight I'm actually just using the track for it. But um, it's just such a beautiful song. I was going to say, uh, January he did a, an awesome version where he sat down at his, at his keyboard. And it was just him, the microphone, and, and and he just busted out on chain melody. And his vocal range right now, uh, compared to you know when he was starting out as a as a young uh, youth tribute, was just astounding. It was like you know if he can evolve like that, you know I it gives me confidence that I can. Very nice. What would you say is the hardest part about being an Elvis tribute artist and being involved with this type of lifestyle? I suppose. <laughs> And obvious one's probably the money. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, or the lack thereof. Lack yeah. thereof. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's very expensive. I mean, the tracks. The, the, uh, the tracks, the outfits, the locations, the travel, the, yeah, the, the maintenance of equipment, the, the logistics for the travel. I mean, there's, you know what, the, there was one over in Vegas mm -hmm. that isn't being done this year, but there was one over in Vegas. There's one over in Ocean City yeah. that's happening. Um, they're all over the place, and as much as we both would love to do it, it's just the right now we're both at a spot where we have to really pick and choose where we go. Mm. So that's that's definitely the hardest. All right. In closing, what do you think is the best part about being involved in the Elvis tribute artist community? Oh, bro the, the brotherhood. Um, everybody helps each other. Everybody supports each other. Um, you know, everybody is the. It's more than a friendship. It's really everybody's like a brother to each other, and it's just fantastic how, you know, you know, like to this day, you know, I can do a show with, you know, with Matthew, and then uh, and Kevin, and you know, like uh, Drew Colson, you know, who's kind enough to, you know, donate his lighting setup tonight. You know, I mean, he's won, you know, an award-winning tribute. You know, he won the, the Lake George competition last year, and. He, you know, you know, out of the kindness of his heart, I mean, it's the, the, the camaraderie and the, the family type thing that really is, you know, yeah. is the best part of it. Very nice. Well, thank you guys for talking with me today. I appreciate it, and I wish you the very best of luck in your upcoming year. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. This is Andrea Palmer reporting live from Sweet Basil in Queensbury, New York. We'll have a black in the